Creating great reels can make a big difference in your content. And today we're going to talk about how you can make the words pop in and out of your reel with the new reels editor. Instagram reels editor has gone through a lot of transformations and it went through one recently. And so I want to show you how you can do it. It's quick, it's easy, and it's super effective. My name is Michelle Gifford. I help you stay up to date and in the know and ready to grow on Instagram. And today's tutorial is all about Instagram reels. So let's get to it. First thing, we're going to go to the little plus sign at the bottom, and that is going to bring up your different options. So we want to go to the reel option. We want to go to camera. From there, you can create your reel. This is Michelle. I'm so glad you're here. Testing, testing, testing. Okay. Then we're going to stop. You will then hit next. Now from there, maybe we want to add some music. So we're going to click up at the top and add music. You can scroll through here and find the music that you want. Now I recommend looking for an audio that has a arrow going up. That means it's trending. I also recommend that you find an audio that has less than about 10,000. So I'm going to go Megan Trainer to the moon. Okay. So now we have that on there and we are going to hit the A's up at the top and we're going to type in our hook. All right, we've written that out. Now we have a couple options here. Up at the top, we can change the alignment. So it can be aligned to the right, it can be aligned center, or it can be aligned to the left. We also have the color wheel that's next. Now we can choose a color. Now we could scroll through here and choose whatever color we want. We could also use that dropper. So if I do the dropper, I could get it the color of my lips. I also can hold one of the colors colors down and I get the whole rainbow. So we'll go with that one. We'll hit done. Now from there, we have a couple more options. We can now change the font by hitting that button. Now you can see that you can scroll through all of these fonts. I highly recommend when you're choosing a font that you're choosing one that's really easy to read. I don't use the script very often because it's hard to read. So choose one that you like. Now from there, we can add a background. We can add that, hit it again, and then you get another option, hit it again. You get the filled in option hit it again and you get that option. So that adds a little bit of color and dynamic to your text. The next thing you can do is up at the top, there's two lines and an A. With those, what happens is that it will type it across as you're saying it. So that's one option. Whenever I want to edit it, I click the text and then I actually don't want the writing across. And so I'm not going to do that. When you want to move it and place it somewhere, you just tap on it and drag it up and down like this. Once you get it where you want it, push stop. Now we don't want that to be on the screen the whole time. So so we're going to add another text box and this text box is going to have the value. So the three steps, I'd probably add more value than that, but we're just doing a quick one. I don't want those there at the same time on my screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click edit video and then you'll see that we have layers. We have the video layer. That's the video of me. Now I could click there and I could just edit that layer. Next is the audio layer. I could edit that audio as well. And then we have down here the different text layers. So if I added another layer, it would be layered one more deep. So the first one that is highlighted is the hook. I'm going to take that yellow bar and scroll it over to where I don't want the hook to show up anymore. Then let's say that's exactly where I want it. I'm going to click that text box, which is under it, which is the value. And I don't actually want it at the front because that's where my hook is. So I'm going to scroll back this way. Let's preview it. You'll see that it has three steps to stop the scroll and then it goes away and then that comes up. So that is how you make text pop in and out. Now, the next thing we're going to talk about is how do you add other things like photos? So you'll see down here in this editing tool, we have some spots across the bottom, right? We can add a clip. So that's if we wanted to add another video clip, we could make it or we could bring it in from our camera roll. We could add more text. We could add a GIF. We could add a sticker. Let's add a sticker. We want to see how this works. So maybe it's this Monday one. You can see I'm tapping on it and I'm holding on and making it bigger or smaller. Then I can hit done. You'll notice it has now added another layer. It's a sticker layer. So I can make that sticker come in and out when we want it. So if you watch, it comes in and then it goes out. Pretty great. We can add a lot of things. That applies to stickers. But if you were to add a clip for the clip hub, it actually adds as a new clip. It doesn't layer on top of the actual video. The other thing you can do with a clip is you could add a photo. Let's say I wanted to add this photo of these flowers and I wanted to add it down here. I hit done. Then you'll notice that the sticker is right here and it'll pop up here. So it shows up as a sticker in that place. If I were done, I'm going to click off of it. And now you'll see the text pops in and out, the sticker pops in and out, and my photo pops in and out. So there's a lot of different things that you can add to your reel to keep people interested and keep people watching. The key here to editing on Instagram is just to know that each object, whether it's the video, the music, the pictures, they all have their own track and they show up 
like they did here. The purple was the text. The stickers were in that peaky purple color. And so you can just edit each one to come in when you want it to. All right, my friend, thank you for joining me today. If you have any other questions, make sure you ask them below and subscribe and we'll see you next time.